Won't you pay me for a song? Won't you give me money to sing along? Won't you pay me for a song? Won't you give me money to sing along? Think that that would be nice And you would sing along with this device there would be no sacrifice It would be nice It would be nice Yeah, commercialism is really interesting on the web. I mean, when I was younger, uh, you know, you'd have ten musicians around you, and nine of them would be classical musicians or jazz musicians with just incredible chops. And they wouldn't make a red cent. And then there'd be one guy... With, who was kind of cute, but really couldn't play very well. And he'd be the commercial musician, and everybody would kind of laugh at him and make fun of him. And it's like, being commercial was not that cool. <laughs> it's like, on the web, it's almost like revealed truth that commercialism is everything. I mean, I've heard discussions where, where people are talking about commercial art, like it's such the greatest thing in the world. Like the guy who is the most like the Brady Bunch wins. And then into that world where it's really not understood that there are things beyond money enters Google, where popularity is everything. The, uh, the most popular hit is the one you get first. And uh, an entire popular ocracy, it's like that which is popular is good. And I mean... I really like the notion of having faith in people and in, in, in the the powers that be, but I mean, is McDonald's the best restaurant? You gotta admit that McDonald's is the most popular restaurant, and you know that goes all kinds of places. The most popular thing. I mean, have you heard the phrase "the tragedy of the commons"? I mean, I want to believe that the crowd always knows best, but the truth is or at least as far as my experience goes, the, the crowd knows a kind of sad little truth that is shared by all, but rarely reveals the whole story. Well, now that I've scared away any new viewers with my rambling, uh, this episode is about a tune. I, I mean, blogging to me always goes the same way. I start out really good, and then after a few weeks, I get a little bored. And if, man, if spring comes, like this time, I'm out of luck. Like last week, I was working full-time on my cabin, and I was running home and doing an hour show, and they were all terrible. <laughs> and that's just the way it goes. I mean, the blogging always kind of kind of fades after a while. <laughs> anyway, uh, so here's... A, I, I was blogging music uh, this year, and I wrote this tune. Oh, it was the final most desperate tune <laughs> I wrote. And, uh, I mean, the problem with it, really with it is it doesn't get onto the chorus. So what I did in this episode is I've got three buttons for choruses, and then you can listen to the whole tune if you've got really a lot of patience. And uh, But if you get bored, just press the buttons for the choruses. It's just a stupid song. I mean, I was kind of under the impression that day that maybe people would think I was a good musician if I got a lot of money. Oh, and as a side note, I say I wrote this song. Actually, I was winging it. What I've, what I've decided is that uh, if I write pop music and I actually think about it, I write I overwrite terribly. I, I add way too much chords and words and stuff. So what I do is I just improvise it. I just like, turn on, press record, and, tr and start singing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so everything here is one take, and, uh, you know, all the harmonies and everything is being done in real time by me.